abducted in the streets. Last night, uh, Dr. Prado was abducted, and then the doctor said they're going to go on strike. He was released. Uh, Shad is missing. He was abducted last night by the DCI, and was almost abducted on Friday. So he said instead of getting abducted in the streets, we're going to, to present ourselves to the police. We have broken any law, take us to court. But abduction and torture are illegal in this country. And what DCI is doing right now is abducting people for expressing their right to protest. We're telling people come to the streets to protest. We're saying reject the financial deal. We're giving back. We're taking back control of this country. The power belongs to the people. The president is an employee of the people. And the people of this country are saying, you work for us. You must listen to us. So we're saying, don't abduct us. We're presenting ourselves to the police ourselves. That's why we're here. Tunajipatia na kwa polisi, tuwambia wache kuwa watu wetu, wache kupiga watu wetu. Last week on Friday, they killed two people. But tomorrow, we're back in the streets. We're asking everyone who is home, if you don't want to come to the streets, don't come to work. Kanyumbani. In solidarity. Because akianza kutu oppress vijana wetu sayu, we'll all become slaves of the IMF and the World Bank. I think the state. No, to report abduction outside our uh, city mortuary on Friday, three Subarus came to arrest us. We managed to escape. Because we to kidnap kwa barabara, wacha to gilete. And here we are. And then the president is a liar. And Asema, he wants dialogue. And he's abducting people. Where is Shad? Ask the president, where is Shad? We cannot live in fear. Uruto, you work for us. You are an employee of the people. We are abducting us. Look at these police officers. Omejificha Sura. Angalia. These are people who are kidnapping people. These people are the ones who are making people disappear. The president said, no more Rivayala. No more Rivayala. This is Rivayala all over again. Angalive Nyomeva. This is Rivayala all over again. Abductions. So, why are you waiting one hour man? Atujui, like you mejilete, kwa na kutushika tushike. Kama tushiki, tuene nyumbani tupange mandamano ya kesho. All over the country, wherever you are, protest against the financial bill. We never gave Ruto's wife work to do for us. Or regard his wife. Why are we giving them money? Our kids, he's cutting off school feeding programs to give his wife money. How selfish can you be? When the president is no line, he's flying all, all over the country, all over the world. He's doing renovations in his house, in his in state house, and we don't even have enough hospitals, we don't have enough libraries, we don't have enough schools. He's wasting our money. Our police and our 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 we are not afraid of the police. Yeah. We are not afraid of being arrested. We are not even afraid of dying for our country. We are ready for that. But the state should stop using state machinery to silence dissent. Kenyans have spoken loudly and clearly. N reject finance bill. And then the state is using state machinery to abduct people, to disappear people. And then they are telling people that we are ready to dialogue. Is that dialogue? When you are arresting people, you are throwing them into, you know, unknown places, in communicado. That is unconstitutional. How can you violate the constitution and then you are saying that you are ready to dialogue? That is not right. This is not dialogue. This is not dialogue. Akimani Shungwa welcomed this particular protest. What do you say? I don't get a bibi ruto. Bibi ruto tumongelashi. Tutiariria muka wa ruto. Tutikumuariria.